do we fight for? Peace? Peace is a false hope. It is a lie told by leaders who have lost the will to fight. But the time of reckoning has come. We will cleanse Heathmore from the liars and the wicked. We will start a new era for the truest heroes of this world. Peace is poison. Oh yeah! What's up everybody, it's Shadow Ninja here, and welcome back to another Rage Quit video. Yesterday For Honor dropped its Year 4 Season 2 update that brings a lot of nice content and quality of life fixes that the player base has been really excited about. I gotta say, the beginning cutscene that we just watched has got me so excited for what's next in the For Honor story. Not only do we have this current content, but in like two months I believe we'll be getting a new hero and some more quality of life changes alongside some other surprises the devs have yet to uh, reveal. But let's hop into this update because we got a lot to talk about. First, let's start with Centurion's rework. Finally, Cent has gotten an updated moveset and I gotta say he's pretty- No! Stop it! He's pretty well rounded now compared to how he was before. His zone attack is now feintable, and his falcon punch can be feinted as well. His light guard break combo is now completely gone, but his punches have a much wider range now, and they kinda hit a little bit harder. And to top it off, his knockdown punish move fully replenishes both sense and his opponent's stamina bars. There's a couple of other minor tweaks too, like certain attacks being a bit faster than they were before, and his lock-on walk speed has been increased, I think. But I really think that Centurion is INCREDIBILY! Ah, God damn it! Along with this update, we got some new gear sets for some of our heroes as well. We also get two new emotes for good measure. For the most part, I like the gear. You can definitely tell they're going really dark with this season, a lot of edgy pieces, and we haven't even talked about the battle pass yet. Alright, the second installment of this battle pass is a little weird to say the least. As you can see, buying the premium pass will grant you a new effect for all of your heroes. Apparently, this effect is inspired by a new faction specifically catered to, like, chaos called the Horkos. Throughout the 100 tiers, you'll get your standard new weapons and battle outfits, but if you descend deeper into the pass, you'll get this kind of controversial emote of your character holding a warden head and chucking it holding a polyon sword. This emote is not faction specific so everyone can use it including the knights which is a little weird but I kind of like it not gonna lie. And of course you got your executions also not faction specific seems to be a theme throughout the season. Your character pours reptile acid down your enemy's throats and you you watch him choke him to death. What the fuck? Overall, I'm not overly impressed with the new battle pass, it's kind of a step down in my opinion, because the last pass had really badass faction-specific finishers and dragons for effects. For this one, we get to dress up as a Horkos dude and pour acid on our enemies. Nonetheless, some solid content though. Now this is what we have all been waiting for. Test Your Metal is officially back, and I cannot tell you how... How excited I am to keep playing this mode. If you guys didn't know, for those of you who are maybe new to the game, uh, Test Your Metal was very, very popular back in Season 5, Age of Wolves, because it celebrated the first year that the game was released, the first year that Apollyon's legacy came to its end because, obviously, the story mode. And everybody loved it. It was an exclusive PvE mode that was set in a deathmatch scenario where you would go against the bosses of the game. Now, in the first week or so, you would go against maybe the whole uh, knight, samurai, or viking faction exclusively, but then as it started getting harder and harder throughout the weeks, and you started getting more rewards, uh, they would throw all the bosses at you at once, and it's best out of seven, 
and of course, as uh, you keep winning rounds, the bosses keep getting harder. Maybe they'll get a damage boost, or maybe they'll get an overshield. Maybe actually they'll start uh, parrying things more as their uh, level will increase, the bot level will increase maybe up to three. Yeah, this mode is really good, and it's set in a different environment this time. As you guys can see, the Truce of Wyverndale theme is still kind of going on. Uh, these aren't the actual bosses, though. They are just kind of pretenders that are dressing up in the armor, and they're reenacting the battles of the campaign, celebrating, you know, peace and all that stuff. But it has been revealed that... The peace is not going to last forever. But anyways, guys, this is going to wrap up the year for a season two update of For Honor. Now, don't forget, we still have more to come. We've got a new hero, some more quality of life fixes, and more surprises, as I've said before. But as far as this content goes, I'm pretty happy with it so far, mostly because of Test Your Metal and the Centurion changes, and some of the cosmetics look really cool. But the battle pass, I think, could have been better. But hey, it's it's a battle pass. It's something, you know, it's, it's more content. But hey, uh guys if you guys like this video make sure you press the like support the channel even further by pressing the sub tab and of course click the bell icon so that you guys never miss a single rage quit video but guys i am shadow ninja and you just watched a rage quit video about the year four season two update of for honor thank you guys for watching and as always i will see you on the next one